Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over a certain way to make gil without crafting that I've come across recently. It took me from a 200k spare gil on my alt, and now I'm up 5 million plus with having only a level 22 white mage and no crafter. Any and all lists will be mentioned down below, and YouTube members, Twitch subs, Discord boosters do get access to these lists earlier. So with that being said, let's get into it. So no, I didn't Fantasia, this is my alt on Louisa, but I'm not just doing Louisa, I'm going to go over on some of the other servers on Chaos to see it how much I've actually made with just posting. So what exactly are you flipping and where do you even start? As long as you're able to access retainers around level 21, you should be around the level to go ahead and start getting your retainers and having access to the housing district. Doesn't matter what housing district, any housing district will do because there is a NPC that we're going to be frequenting at to go ahead and flip. So I went ahead and stuffed all the money back into my retainers for the thumbnail, but if you have been watching my streams, we were going over what exactly I sold. Let's take all of it out and see exactly how much we made. So with that, a grand total of 6,500,000. Only starting off with 200k, which is pretty incredible. All I did was my due diligence to go ahead and undercut once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once before bed. I was selling all sorts of things from partitions to some of the materials also next to the housing vendor, tables, and etc. But we'll go ahead and go over what is best. As I scroll through my retainers, what I've been seeing is that the orchestron rolls have been selling for the most profit and the most often. Also, the flooring mat, table mat, ivy mural, and the hanging sideboard have also been selling quite well. And most windows, if there are any windows, these are always going to sell well because people need plenty of windows. The Phasmascapes also sell quite well, and the Garden Patches are a good profit because you do need a little bit more to start off since its vendor price is quite high. Liquor Bottles, the Spirits Collection, all of these have a very low vendor price, less than 8,000, but I'm going ahead and selling it for 18k, 18k, 18k. Shelves also sold quite well, the futon mattress, wooden footbridge, and again the hanging sideboards were pretty good, and of course the orchestra rolls were selling quite fast and for quite a lot as well. I'm right here in the mist in front of the housing merchant. You can also get this in your house, but having a house is not required. It is right here in the housing district, and you have the option for a ton of things. Exterior, garden, orchestrion, interior chairs beds tables food partitions wall decorations shelves rugs lighting and other there are a ton of things and especially it always gets really good whenever new housing occurs and keep in mind for the brand new servers specifically on eu and gp we're gonna have a lot of fresh words a lot of fresh homes and Oftentimes, people are going to be lazy, they don't have either their character leveled enough to have crafters, so getting a lot of these items from the vendor, flipping them will net you a ton of profit, so keep that in mind if you're going to go ahead on these brand new servers. But even still, right now, it still sells quite well, and I recommend just looking for stuff that looks good. The cedar tree, you can buy it for 7.5k. But on Louisa, you can sell it for 62000 Ragnarok, the lowest price, 41000 The wooden footbridge, buyable at 3.5k on Louisa, sellable at 17 k And on Cerberus, the lowest price, 17 k But on Ragnarok, it has just been sold for 44 k And most of the time, people don't just buy one or two. They often buy quite a lot. So specifically, take a look at things that are not just bought one at a time, but multiple at a time, and I'll show you what I mean. 
also stuff that has a higher buy price, such as the Deluxe Guarded Patch, viable at 48k, but you can sell it for 71k, almost a 20k gil profit by doing nothing. Also same thing with the Chocobo Stable, viable at 125,000, sellable on Louis Swa for 205,000, although if you're on Ragnarok, you're going to be selling it for a little bit less, you're still making a 20k gil profit. And now starting off with my lowest amount at 200k, I went straight to the orchestrian roles. They have added a lot of ambient orchestrian roles such as ambient waves, rainfall, birdsong, cricket song. A lot of these, people don't know where they're from, therefore they're more likely to go ahead and buy it just straight off the market board. Buyable at 5,000, you can sell it for 30k. Just by doing nothing, you made a profit of 25,000. And the best thing about it, if you buy one, 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 one of all these orchestrian rolls, normally people just type in ambient and they're going to buy the whole stack. They're going to buy each and every single one and you're going to make a ton of gil quite quickly that way. That's exactly how I started and that is exactly how I figured out this is actually pretty good. For interior and exterior items, always keep in mind what looks good. The white marble flooring usually is a quick seller along with the glade flooring and the arbor interior wall. Now I also do have a list so that it can match your server perfectly and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. And of course this Tinkcraft list is down in the description below. Now this is quite a large list. Expect a slightly long load time but has all the housing items that are flippable aka buyable from a vendor, there's no need to craft anything, and you can go ahead to the pricing mode, no need to click spending since we're not going to be crafting and we're only going to be flipping. Go down and fill prices based on your market board, and now you can easily see the price of the item 5k and the sell price on your server. Alpine cabinet, buyable for 5k, sellable for 23k, ambient birdsong, Buyable at 5k, sellable for 51k. Azim Step Phasma Escape, buyable for 10k, sellable for 19k. There is, of course, a lot on this list, and it is perfect, especially if your server doesn't quite look like mine. You can find some hidden gems throughout this list. And especially if you don't have a lot of guilt, there are some very, very low price items. Again, such as the set of liquor bottles, buyable for 450 gil, sellable for 20,000. Table mat, buyable for 700, sellable at 15k. But now that we've went ahead and took a look at the list, I'll go ahead on my other alts and we can see how well it's been going along for them. So I'm here with my alt on Spriggan and yep, it's been going pretty good. I sold that orchestral roll for 75k, of course viable at 5k. The cracked arch windows are actually better on a Spriggan than it is on Louis Soi, so 35k each. The wooden lofts selling pretty well. The cheap table mat, I think it was viable at like 750, sold for 11k. Arch partitions selling well, brick interior wall selling well. And once again, the orchestra rolls selling quite good. And the hanging sideboard and the flooring mats selling exceptionally well. Things like hanging sideboards and flooring mats are used for a ton of modern builds. You're going to need quite a lot of them. So even having a retainer full of just flooring mats, they do sell well on your server for a decent amount. You're going to make a ton because normally people buy a lot at a time. Same thing with the sideboards and same thing with a lot of partitions. The spirits collection, I think it was buyable at 500 gil. I sold it at 56,000 gil, which is pretty darn good. And again, the flooring mats selling well as always. Now, I don't just have a furniture scheme going on on Spriggan. I also have another one on Ragnarok. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I am here in Ragnarok, and there we go, ambient rainfall, viable at 5k, sellable at 94,000. This is kind of crazy, I kind of delayed the video just a little bit, because I wanted to milk it as much as I could, because this was crazy. I have made just probably over 10 million of just stuffing my unused alts at the moment with a ton of furniture items. 
but we're still gonna go ahead and scroll and take a look what else I've sold. Again, the flooring mats are selling exceptionally well, even stuff like empty boxes, super cheap to buy, but it does sell and for quite a lot, especially if people see this, ah, oh, it's probably gonna sell quite slowly, I'm not even gonna bother posting it. If you're the only one that's posting it, or one of the only three people who are posting it, you're most likely gonna sell it, and for a good amount. Again, the ivy mural shelves and mattress sell for quite a good amount. The alpine cabinet, it was super expensive on Ragnarok for some reason, easy 132000 with a huge amount of profit by doing again nothing. The eastern wisteria, especially a great item, outside item to go ahead and sell, is a beautiful outside tree and a lot of people want it. Again, lighting is pretty good, the wall lantern, pretty typical, pretty cheap, but being sold pretty well, and again, hanging sideboard, furnit shelf partitions sell good as well. And again, the pretty interiors sell pretty well, arbor flooring, 23k white interior wall, 37k and the white marble flooring, 75,000. And I was the only one posting that pot of cream stew, and I just bumped it up to around 80k and that was bought. So again, keep an eye out for stuff that no one has posted or very few have posted yet. Now honestly, I do think you've got the gist of all that I've sold, but what about things that are not exactly furniture? I do have a few honorable mentions and I'll go ahead and show you what exactly I'm also selling. If you are truly just starting off in the game and you really have not much skill to go off of, there is a lot of stuff all around you in the main cities that you can go ahead and start selling. Specifically, I went ahead on stream to go ahead and sell some best man's items and I'll show you where that vendor exactly is, but you can easily sell even things like hemp and pantlets, Makoti separates, and the general race gear for quite a bit. Also, take a look for weathered items. As you can see, I sold that weathered ring for 23,000, and that weathered ring cost 100 gil only to go ahead and buy. Why is something like that being bought for so much? If you are starting off on a brand new character or a brand new alt, you're going to be lacking an item level, and specifically for one of the quests, at least in Gridania, you need to meet a certain item level. So oftentimes, people just turn to the marker board, and what is one of the first rings that show up? It is, of course, the weathered ring. Now, it is too expensive for what it is, but as you can see, it is being bought. Twice on the 30th, once on the 24th, 18th, four times throughout the 6th and the 5th. Obviously, it's not going to sell like hotcakes, but if you really don't have any gill, you can go ahead and start selling weathered accessories. And as we can see, the shop selling price is 168 gil. Now, of course, Louis Wall is a lot more expensive than the other servers, but on Spriggan, 9.4k, that is an 8k gil profit with just one thing. If you want to sell race specific gear, you can come here at Inelda or any major city's independent importer. Here you get the Huron, Ellison, Lollapel, etc. gear. Most times, the McCoding gear, the Viera gear, and the Lollafell gear tend to sell the best, but not only race gear, you can get the weathered accessories here as well, and the hempen kameez, and the hempen pantlets. And also in Ulda, and right across from the Aetherite is the clothier, where you can get the novelty gear, aka the best man's set and the bride's maid's set. Now it is a little bit more pricey, but if you do have the bit of gill, you can go ahead and flip a 12k item for 18k, an 18k item for 28k, and a 6k item for 17k. Now of course, it really always depends on your market board and on your server, but if you are a sprout or just have empty retainer space on alts that you just want to fill up with literally anything, this is a great way to go ahead with very little effort to make a bit of gil. So that's how you can make a heck ton of gil with just vendor flipping. Again, if you have a retainer space or you are just starting out in the game and you have a little bit of starting gil, this is a great way to make gil without crafting. Now, of course, if you do go ahead and undercut consistently, you're going to make a lot more, but 
I just did a undercut morning, afternoon, and evening, and it did me quite good. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And of course, thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You all keep the channel going. Hope to see you in my next video, and bye-bye!